Four hearts began beating to one steady rhythm on November 17, 2006 in Santa Cruz. Since then, Asia, Abia, Amira and Anusha have been inseparable. After the SE exams, the quadruplet sisters went on to attend the San Juan North Secondary School, where they experienced their most recent success, passing the CSEC exams, which was no easy feat. It was heavily stressful. I study almost every day, morning, wake up, before the exam, studying, doing past papers, going through everything over and over and over and over. Although exams were difficult, they emphasized the importance of always putting your best foot forward. Keep trying because at, at the end of the tunnel, there is always light. You will always succeed. If you keep trying and pushing, you will succeed. Despite the pressure that came with exams, the girls stressed that their positive results could not have been achieved without the dedication of their committed teachers. But the teachers work very hard. They give 100%. And even when students were to skip class, when even two students come out, they, they're still pushing and give, giving the work. They also credited their alma mater, lovingly referred to as book, for their successes. However, despite the school being integral to their community, the girls believe it needs a bit of upkeeping to help generations to come. The school is an amazing school, best teachers, and some of the students are very smart and intelligent. Just the school is for that part, it needs to build over. Undeterred by the trials of the institution, however, the girls were grateful for the extra time they had together. But now, after being together their entire lives, they recognize it's time to loosen ties and start separate journeys. We needed this since all of us need to go our separate paths and find our own self, find where we is without each other. And we'll always talk, we'll, we always, we always hear, we could always, you know, phone call our week. The sisters also gave a bit of advice for those who are looking for an extra push to keep persisting. If you want to change something, start with yourself. Don't follow anyone. If your friends lining on the block, if your friends skipping classes, don't follow them. Sit in the teacher's class. And you will start to see a change, a difference. They implored those who attempted to follow dangerous paths to listen to their elders and make something good of themselves. Now, they've each got their own dream to pursue. Asia wishes to pursue business, Abia aims to join the medical field, Amira's passion is food, and Anusha wants to pursue a career in aviation. Ambika Datu, CNC3 News.